BBC Essex, it's time to meet my guest this evening, friend of the show, Brentwood singer, songwriter, superstar, Ledra Chapman. Hello to you. Hello, it's lovely to be back. It's lovely to have you back. Thank you very much for popping in and braving all the traffic and all that yes. lot that's going on out there. <laughs> not, not a pleasant night. No. Now, one reason we love having you in regularly is because you do so much stuff that every time we catch up with you, you've, <laughs> you've been doing something else. And last time we spoke, you were supporting Katie Melua. Oh, yes. That was just before, was it? Yeah. yeah. How was that? Yeah, it was incredible. We, uh, we did a couple of shows with her um, in Germany, and it was, it, was so, it was so much fun. The crowds out there were brilliant. There were a few, a few thousand people every night. Because you, you've done a fair bit of gigging in Germany in your time as well. Uh, yeah, I did a tour with, um, with Sarah Blasco out there, and that was, that was really good as well. But these were, these were much bigger gigs. These were outdoor gigs as well, so it was really nice. I mean, I, I adore Germany, like the, especially in the summer. Um, especially like Berlin and Cologne, it's just so lovely out there, and um, it was a real, it was really amazing to do an outdoor gig to like a few, a few thousand people. You didn't have the German fans going, "It's great to have Ledra back," but who's this Katie Melua? <laughs> no, no, I <laughs> wish. <laughs> maybe, th- maybe this summer. <laughs> you, you say a little bit bigger. Talk us through the scale of the crowds that you were performing to. Um, well, they were the first night was three thousand, I think. Um, and and actually, I got um, I got them singing along. I taught them a part of the song and got everybody singing. And I was talking. Um, I met Katie that that night, and I saw her just about to go out on stage. And she came over and she said, "You know, that's a, we've never had like the crowd sing along before. Like we don't even get them to sing along." And wow. She said, "I could hear them singing along for the dressing room. It sounded really great." And I was just like, "That's brilliant." Yeah, I'll, I'll teach you a few tricks, Katie. Don't you worry. I'll help you on help she's, you on your career. She's just phenomenal. Life. She's um she's she's like watching a real concert. You know, it's like classical and it's beautiful. And she's just flawless live. She really is. And so was that a learning curve for you as well? Could you you pick things off her as well? And... Well, yeah, she was doing kind of her. It was like her tenth year um, uh, since um, closest thing to crazy. Wow! So that's what kind of a lot of the shows were about because she was releasing a new album that was kind of this ten year mark. And so yeah, it was it was really it was really inspiring, especially since she was also independent. You know that whole that whole label around yeah. her that I'm signed to now. It started off from scratch as you know there was no major label involved. It was just her and her manager. No like big that. machine behind her. No, there wasn't, and it was just that one song that you know everyone fell in love with. Now it's like my nan's favourite song. Let's bring it back to you because you've got um, a gig coming up in London next month, yeah. which I understand is already sold out. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, sold little, out in a few days. A proud smile came up there. Yeah. I know, I'm so, so happy about that. It's sold out in a few days. It's, um, it's going to be kind of... It's, it's the first time I'm going to play the album live. Um, it's at uh, St Pancras Old Church, which is a beautiful venue. So I'm really excited about it. And is it, it is an old church, isn't it, in yeah. St Pancras? Because I've got a friend who's a musician who loves performing in churches because he says the acoustics that you get there, it, it brings a whole different sound to his song. Yeah. Is, 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 do you find that as well? Oh, gosh, yeah. I mean, the acoustics in a church are, are gorgeous. You certainly won't need to put any reverb on the mic. It'll sound brilliant. <laughs> get all the natural echo coming back yeah, and, and all the rest of it. It's going to be a really special show. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm, I'm, so, I'm over the moon that it sold out in a few days i mean that was um that was really really good to hear so it's a big compliment isn't it when that happens not, yeah not just the selling out but the, the the rush for tickets almost yeah it really was it really was it was an amazing feeling and uh, it's nice to kind of relax about that side of things now and focus on making making sure i put on a really good show and it's a it's a smaller venue it's not you know, i don't think you're going to fit three thousand in there no we decided only to put 100 tickets on wow um, we did that deliberately we kind of wanted to make sure it was kind of really intimate really special um because you know it's the first time i've released an album since um well three it's been three years now i think so what which would you prefer do you like the big crowds singing along or do you like the smaller intimate affairs oh the big the big crowds are there are they're incredible and i don't get as nervous with the big crowds with the small crowds i do get i get i get a lot more nervous but in a way they're they're more rewarding because you kind of can see everybody's face and you you know you see fans you've met before as well and it's kind of a bit more it's just it's more intimate and it's i i i I think it's the best the best of both worlds really with both of them i love things about the big shows but there is going to be something special about this this one because it's going to be me playing the album for the first time and uh like live you know so i'm 
I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. As, and I'll probably be very nervous because it's a smaller crowd as well because they're always more terrifying. I was going to say, it's interesting that because most people, if you, if you just ask 100 people, they'd say, well, bigger crowds would be more terrifying. But I'm guessing, like you say, if you most can... Most artists say the same, though. If you can see the actual expressions on people's faces and you can see how they're reacting individually to your music, you can almost pick out individuals and think, well, they like it, they like it, I'm not sure about them, they like it. And, you, yeah. and I, I guess it does put more pressure on almost. There's more room for error, error as well, though, I think, when you've got, when you've got like a smaller crowd they can you know every single little little thing you do you kind of think everyone can hear everything when, when you're on a big stage and there's thousands of people you've got so much more adrenaline in a way because you've kind of got to entertain all these people and you can kind of be a bit rough around the edges I think with the live performance like that and when it's more intimate you're so I, you know I want it to sound perfect I want it to sound you know really beautiful for the crowd and so you kind of it, that it is more nerve-wracking definitely it almost feels like you send out invitations and it's your own <laughs> private party isn't it? it is a bit, yeah. we're going to talk more about the new album in just a moment Ledra Chapman is my guest this evening <laughs> So my guest this evening, Brentwood singer-songwriter Ledra Chapman. Uh, we'll be hearing Ledra perform live after the Travel News with Barry in just a couple of minutes. But you've got a new album coming out. Yeah. Uh, coming out this summer? Yep. It's called My Mother's Mind. Uh, I, I almost don't want to probe any further <laughs> than that. But uh, my duty forces me to. Is, is it inspired by your mum? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Um, she's here with me, actually, now. Yeah, <laughs> blushing, blushing slightly in the studio over there now. <laughs> she always gives me a lift. I love it. So you, you, you haven't sat there and gone through the lyrics with her and had a go, well, my mind doesn't work like no, that. No, um, it's because... I have a theme going with all my releases. So for the um, first album, Telling Tales, that was a lyric from um, a song called Edie, which was one of the singles. Um, Then I had, uh, last year I released the Crowds and Cocktails EP, and that was um, a line from Tongue Tied. So I kind of wanted to keep the theme of alliteration and also it being a line in one of the songs. And it's uh, in a song called Woman, um, which is um, I've Got My Mother's Mind. So... That's where uh, that's where it comes from. And all of the songs that are on it, uh, I mean, are, are they inspired by your family, by your mum, or there's, there's is quite a full few, range? There's quite a few songs on there that kind of that are inspired by mum. To be honest, a lot most things I do are inspired by my by my mum. I think people most most girls are the same. But yeah, I mean, it's it's um, it's I've decided to be a lot more honest with this album about what a lot of the songs are about because um, you know it's been three years. I've had three years to write this album, so the songs that have made it onto the album all have you know some some pretty kind of big stories behind the tunes you know and I kind of want to be honest about what they're all about this time around you know and because I'm really proud of them and they kind of mark different moments in the past few years some have been really low and some have been really really you know statically high so and is there a moment when you when you write a song when you write an album that suddenly you you hit on the right lyric you hit on the right notes and you it's suddenly like that's it that's yeah. that's how that works yeah and then suddenly you, whatever it is you're writing about you can get closure on that situation so it's like a, it's a, it's basically I never have to have, to have therapy ever <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing you, you get all your praise all your compliments all your revenge out through your songs <laughs> yeah. in one go fantastic I should try this um, well in a moment we'll tell people where they be able to get hold of the album um, mm-hmm. when is it, when's, when's the actual release date have you got one um, we haven't got an official release date yet but it's going to be out over the summer over the summer mm-hmm. excellent well let us know and we'll tell people will where do. they can find it but uh, we'll talk more about that in just a moment Ledra we'll sing live for you in just a few moments Travel. First of all, we'd better update you on the situation on the roads. Here's Barry Lewis. Uh, thanks very much, Ian. At the uh... to Fridays from nine. I'm doubly blessed this evening. Not only is Ledra performing live, but she's going to be performing one of uh, my favourite songs from her as well, uh, which was not only a BBC Essex single of the week, but also a Radio 2 one as well, I understand. Yes, it was. Yeah. Like song. <laughs> Excellent. I like it as well. Ledra Chapman, this is all about you. Sure, I might have been testing you, mister. I want more. And at your door, and you're broke. You hate it when I smoke, so maybe you're not wealthy, but you keep me healthy. Say no more. I'm all yours. You put that rich boy in his place. So take a walk. And you 
keep me chasing the trophy I can't sleep from facing the only love I fear And it's you, my dear And they're wrong, I write another song And no, it's not a cliche I'm sick of all the contrary advice Make up your mind And we'll put those suits and boots to shame So take a one Take a walk. Utterly gorgeous. So gorgeous, I forgot to switch my microphone on to say that. And I was watching people applaud next door as well. Absolutely oh. <laughs> fantastic. I actually heard that the other day. I was walking around a shop and heard oh, yeah. it coming over the speakers. And there's, there's a moment where I was like, oh, I know that person. She's singing that song. Do you, have you heard yourself out and about? Um, a few times, mainly just friends calling me up and going, listen to this, <laughs> and holding it up to the speakers. <laughs> but that must give you a thrill, know that yeah, people really appreciate does. your music and play it. And yeah. I think one of the most exciting times was when it, uh, it, it, I, someone found it on a jukebox. <laughs> I, thought <that> was, <laughs> I thought that was fun. So that, um, that was from the Cocktails EP as well, wasn't it? That, yeah, that that, but it's going to be on the album. Excellent. It's the first track. Excellent. And um, the album, where will people be able to find it? Because you were doing a pledge music thing as well recently, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I was. So everybody, everybody who's pledged basically um, has a, de- a digital download of the album, and there are some people that have also pledged for like physical CDs and signed CDs, so they're, they're going out to them, but um, the actual general release isn't going to be till the summertime, but it will be available on iTunes, Amazon Play, and we're also going to be... Um, we're going to be putting the first few um, out on my website exclusively as well, which is ledrachapman.com. So that'll be the first place you'll be able to buy a physical copy, which will be around April time. And the gig in London, it's a sellout, so if people are thinking, I need to get tickets for that, too late for that one. You got more planned for the summer? Yeah, we're going to do um, kind of a, a mini tour April, May time um, to kind of get people excited about the album and to start playing it live. And then we're going to do a My Mother's Mind tour in the autumn. Fantastic. Mm. Well... Get back in here and tell us all how it goes, won't you? Absolutely, thanks. It's always such a pleasure coming in here. It's lovely having you in here because you perform with a smile on your face as well, which is great. <laughs> it's just great to watch. It's fantastic. Oh, thanks. Thank you again for coming in. Thanks for having Fingers me. Fingers crossed for the album. Mm-hmm. Tell, I'll send you a copy. Oh, please do. Please do. Title of the album again in case people are jotting it down. Um, my Mother's Mind. My Mother's Mind. Mum, I hope it's a, a compliment for you. <laughs> Ledra, thank you again so much. Brentwood's Ledra Chapman, my guest this evening. Mm-hmm.